Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you the two best keyboards I think we have available right now for iOS. Now, a lot of you have seen in my videos the different keyboards that I've used that are dark themed. So let me open up the first one, and this is the first one. This is Gboard. These are both free apps, and there are some other ones out there that are paid, but this one is free, and I really like it because it supports a couple different things. So with a Google keyboard, if you're not familiar with Android, if you've never used it, or if you have, you might be familiar with this, but this is Google's stock keyboard. And so you can type like normal, just say, hi, how are you today? And it will auto correct it. Now, the nice thing about this is it also incorporates swipe. So I can say, hi, how are you today? And do it the exact same way. I can also do the same thing by holding down the space bar and doing voice translation. Hi, how are you today? Tap it again, it auto fills. So we've got those options. Within this keyboard, we also have a quick way to get to our emojis, as you can see here. We've got that option, which is nice. And then we also have Google search built right in. So if I hit this button, we can say, what's the weather? And it will take a moment and it will show us the weather where we're at. So it's pretty nice. It works really well and it's telling me the weather. The other thing we can do with it though, is we can add GIFs or GIFs, depending on how you say that. So we can say sad search. We'll wait for it here. And it's going to interpret what that is. But if we hit the GIF button on the bottom, now we get GIFs built in. So it does things that you'd expect, but it does a few extra things as far as that part goes. We can add photos, of course, the same thing here. So we just wait for it and it finds sad photos. It may take a moment and there we go. And we just scroll through. And if we want one, we add that one. Now it's copied and we paste it. And now it's in our image or in our notes right here. So it works really well. And it's definitely one of my favorite keyboards. Now you can also theme this keyboard. So if I go out of here, go over to here, go to Gboard, we have languages. So we can add a ton of different languages. So if we want to add a language, here's all the languages we can add for the keyboards. We can also change the actual key settings, but we have themes as well. So right now we're on the dark theme. We can use the light theme. That's all there is here. But down here, if you like a photo in your background, that's for the keyboard, you can add those. And it just keeps loading and loading and loading. And there's a bunch of different ones. And so those are nice as well. So if you like those. Now there is another keyboard I like equally as well that's very similar. And it's from another competitor that's a big competitor to Apple. And that's from Microsoft. So let me go back into notes here. We'll change keyboards. We'll hold down this button and go to the next keyboard. And this is Microsoft's WordFlow keyboard. You'll see right here, we've got similar options for themes and things like that. And this keyboard's a little bit different, but we have different WordFlow themes. So I've got the dark theme on. Again, we can use different backgrounds, different colors, everything. So we've got all these different options. The nice thing with the WordFlow keyboard though, is if we go here back to notes, we can do the same thing. Hi, how are you today? And I'm not even close there. Let's try today. There we go. So same thing there. We do not have the voice option in this one built in. So that's, that's a negative, but we do have this interesting little one touch keyboard right here. We hit this icon. We'll want to use it on the right or left. We'll pick right and the keyboard transforms into the bottom, right? And we've got swipe as well. So I can say, hi, how are you today? And it does the same thing. So it's pretty neat that way. We've got access to our emojis here. And again, one handed, pretty nice there. Vehicles, all sorts of things. Again, we can search for gifts. We'll say happy. And search for this. We're waiting for it. It's loading. There we go. And it's got similar suggestions down at the bottom. Smile smile and nod. So the same sort of thing we've got here as we do with the Gboard, we have with Microsoft's WordFlow keyboard, but we get this one handed button 
which is really nice. If I go back here, I can hit this button and it transforms back into a normal keyboard. So this is probably a better looking keyboard in my opinion, as far as the way it looks, but we don't have the voice search. So that's kind of a, a, a lose situation for me. However, if I want to switch between the two, if I really needed to use voice, hold this button, go back to Gboard, and now I'm there again. And then I can just use voice. So you can easily switch between these. It's back to the regular one, back to WordFlow. So it's really easy to do that. And they're both really good and they're both free. And now you are going to give up some privacy and data privacy because they use your different data to, to do those searches. And if you have a Google account, it can tie to it. So just keep that in mind. So if that's something that you're not okay with, keep that in mind. But I use a lot of Google services, play music sometimes, Gboard, uh, Allo, Hangouts, Word, you know, all those sorts of things. So the same thing goes with Microsoft with their WordFlow keyboard. So just be aware as far as that goes. So that's really it. I like to use Apple's keyboard sometimes too, but I like Google and their voice dictation ability. It's just really great. And I like the way the keyboard works in general and having swipe is really handy as well. But let me know your favorite keyboard in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.